Good morning, Lynn Valley. It's really great to be back. <laughs> At my age, it's, uh, it's really great to be able to be here and to share uh, a word with you out of God's Word and with our daily devotion. Uh, usually what I talk about is things that's happened in my life or something that's in the news or just whatever God puts on my heart most of the time. Uh, I kind of have a plan and stick to it. Sometimes God just changes everything. And uh, I wound up talking about something else. I want to talk today. This week we had a family get together um, to uh, celebrate uh, Memorial Day. And uh, uh, usually the way this happens is uh, they like to come to our house. And, and my, my, my wife is busy. Uh, getting the food ready and the preparing the road and I I help out I come through and I tidy up the house a little bit and uh, Our house is always clean, but you know, it's not organized or tidy well this time My lawn just hadn't been mowed in a while and it was in between the rains and I was afraid that uh, It'd start raining again, and I was gonna get tar terribly behind so I thought well I'll, I'll just mow a little bit of the yard. Our guest is to be at four o'clock. So I sat into mowing and mowing and kind of lost track and I kept right mowing. And when I come in the house, it was four o'clock or almost four o'clock. And uh, so uh, the people started arriving and uh, uh, I was still in my clothes that I had mowed. I had grass all over me and all, but you know, this is family, and uh, uh, they're very good friends, and this wasn't about a neat house. Uh, this was good food and friendship, and just to remember the people that give up their life to protect our freedom. Our friends and our neighbors, they know me well. And I know that some of them don't have a perfectly neat house either. But, you know, I'm going to read to you from Hebrews. I knew that the people was going to be there at 4 o'clock. And I knew to get ready. I'm going to read to you from, and bear with me because I left my readers at home. And I've got my small print Bible again. But uh, I'm looking at uh, Hebrews 10, uh, 24 and 25. <clears throat> and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works, not forsaking that assembling ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhort one another in such and much more to the more as ye see the day approaching the day approaching Christ is going to come back their scholar says it could be back any time we're not going to have time to tidy up the house Our loving Lord loves us very much. He knows what's in our heart. He knows whether we have things arranged the way we should. <clears throat> he knows the, sh the shape. <clears throat> and we can't tidy up at the last minute to our hearts. Not at four o'clock. Or not whenever that happens. The main thing is to love, live, love, and honor to live for Jesus Christ, to love our neighbors, honor our friends and foes. It's not about how neat the house is. It's about the love inside the house. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to listen to your word and to study and to read. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you, Lord, 
for all that you will do it for us in the future. And help us to prove power, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.